Welcome back Future Medicos. In this video, we are going to look at the final seat matrix for Christian Medical College Velour. So CMC Velour, as you all know, the procedure has changed from this year. In fact, it has changed last year. And again, there was a change this year due to the Supreme Court case. And there was an agreement between the CMC Velour and the Tamil Nadu state government, which was accepted by the Supreme Court. And that procedure comes into effect. In fact, I have done a video earlier based on the court verdict where there was no clarity in terms of how CMC Velour is going to split the 50 percentage of seats that were given under its control. Now CMC Velour has updated its um, prospectus and we have a complete clarity in terms of the seed distribution. So we will see that in this particular video. So just come with me and let's understand how the seats are going to be distributed in CMC Velour. So first of all, you can see that this is a revised prospectus dated 8th September 2022. And you can see here, they have very clearly said that it is uh, the prospectus is amended on 8th September 2022 as per the Honorable Supreme Court order dated 10th August 2022. Now, this is uh, the area where they have clearly mentioned how the seats are being distributed. So basically, you can see that 50% of the seats shall be filled up by the management by the same procedure that was being followed for earlier academic years by the college on the basis of inter-se merit as per the NEET results. So basically, the 50% of the seats that will follow CMC Velour procedure is basically divided into three major categories. So we will have open category seats uh, for which any candidate across India is going to be eligible. Okay, Anyone can apply for these open category seats. Whereas previously we used to have about uh, 15 seats under open category. Now we have very less number of seats. Then you have minority network and then you have CMC Velour staff quota. And you come down, uh, this is the uh, state government quota, right? There are 50 percentage of the seats that is going to be surrendered to Tamil Nadu state government and Tamil Nadu state government is going to fill 30 percentage of those seats based on the state government reservation policy. Basically, they are going to follow Tamil Nadu reservation policy and these seats, 30 percentage of the seats only Tamil Nadu candidates can get. Then there is another 20 percentage of the seats with Tamil Nadu state government where uh, these 20 percentage of the seats will be filled with Tamil Nadu Christians. They should be Christians, but they also should be Tamil Nadu native. So basically, these 50 percentage of the seats, only Tamil Nadu native or residents can participate and get a seat. Now let's look at the exact distribution. So you can see here the management seats, uh, 50 seats will be here and then government seats will be 50 seats. Now under the management seats, there are two seats which are open. Open means what? All India open category. Anyone across India can apply for these two seats. There is no restriction. You need not be a Christian. You need not be a Tamil Nadu resident. It can be anybody from anywhere. As long as you have cleared NEET, you are eligible for these two seats. So it's going to be very, very competitive open category seats. Then minority network, there is going to be 38 seats. For these minority network 38 seats, candidates who are sponsored by diocese are going to be eligible. Again, within these 38 seats, how it is going to be distributed is still not very clear because there are many dioceses and, and, the, and CMC Velour is also a recommending um, organization. So we don't know how these exactly the 38 seats is going to be distributed. Are they going to give one seat for each diocese? or they are going to follow like maximum two seats per diocese, we don't know, right? Probably uh, the distribution within minority network, we need some more clarity. Then CMC Velour staff quota, there are 10 seats. There is no change in this particular category. CMC keeps these as 10 seats. 2020, it was 10 seats. 2021, it was 10 seats. And 2022, it is 10 seats. So there is no change in this particular category. They are very particular. Then 20% uh, of uh, state Christian minority quota, as I said, uh, this is only for Tamil Nadu candidates and Christians, Tamil Nadu Christians will get these 20 seats. They no need to be sponsored by any diocese, can be any Christian, 
right they can be uh, catholic protestant right whatever within christian whatever the denomination they all can apply then 30 percentage government quota for this you need not be a christian but you should be a tamil nadu candidate any tamil nadu candidate can get a seat in these 29 seats according to the 69 percent reservation policy in tamil nadu so you will get 31 percentage of these seats going to uh, open category then the 69 percentage of the seats will be in reservation and probably you will also have the seven and a half percent government school reservation they may also get a seat in this particular category then government of india quota that is central pool quota there is one seat once again there is no change in this category over the last few years uh, so every year uh, cmc velour surrenders one seat to the central government which typically is filled by uh, the ministry of uh, defense generally they fill the seat uh, they give the seat to uh, candidates or wards of uh, defense personnel right uh, who normally are affected by the war or they lost life right so they get us one seat so this is the distribution of the 100 seats available in cmc velour okay so that's it uh, that's the information i wanted to share with you i hope this information is useful to decide your direction in terms of cmc velour thank you bye bye